guys. Saturday afternoon, just about three o'clock here. You know what that means. It means it's tournament time. Day 1C of the Barcelona 888 Live main event. Just about to kick off here. Feeling pretty good. I uh, walked about halfway here and realized I was missing my memory card for my camera, so then I had to walk halfway back, hop in a taxi, make sure I uh, got here reasonably within time. So, aside from that, feeling good. It's good to be uh, firing away at, at the, uh, the tournaments, finally here on the vlog. Tournament number one. Pretty much the usual drill. Not quite the usual drill, a little bit different this time, but not too sure what the um, uh, filming policy is going to be in the middle of a tournament. Usually even more strict than cash games, but we'll see what happens. Either we'll be filming at the table or recapping as usual on the breaks. Breaks meaning those scheduled things that happen in, uh, in tournaments. A little bit different from, uh, from cash games when you can just come, come and go as you please. Break number one, not really too much to report here. A uh, little bit card dead as, uh, as per usual. Table seems pretty good, lots of pretty, pretty decent amount of action at the table. Uh, there was a couple guys who managed to get in 120 or 150 big blinds uh, in the first level with pocket jacks versus ace queen off suit. That gives you a little bit of sense of the, uh, the kind of action that's to be found in the tournament so far. Uh, there was another hand where I opened king, queen of clubs and got three callers. Long story short, the uh, the button wins that hand with Jack Deuce off suit. So I'm trying to keep the bluffing to a minimum and uh, just trying to play some quality hands here. I think is the overall strategy. Table draw seems pretty good um, for the most part. I have Kate Hall on my direct left, and aside from that, uh, seems like all Spaniards. I think um, recognize a bunch of faces around the field and other tables, but not at my table. Only one real hand to uh, to to note so far that I played. So blinds are 50 and 100, and we start with 30,000 chips. So start pretty deep here. We're playing five-handed, and I open up Ace Queen offsuit to 300. The button calls. Everyone else folds. So heads up to a flop of Ace Five Three with two diamonds. I see bet 350. The button raises to 800. I make the call. Turn is an offsuit 10. I check and he bets 1100. I call. River is an offsuit 8. I check and he checks back. I show and he mucks. So that's really the only real significant hand that I played. Uh, there was another hand where I called to raise the pocket sevens. That guy shoot me away from shooting over there, from filming over there. But anyway, I called to raise the pocket sevens. The guy made a small three bet. And there was two callers in front of me, so I call as well with that flop. That's really about it. All right, break is ending. Back to work. All right, second break here, coming at you from the beach. Just steps away from the casino. Not a bad environment to uh, be having a poker tournament. But anyway, these past uh, few levels were definitely more active than the first couple levels were. So we just gotta run through these hands really quick because break is only good for about another 10 minutes. But in the first hand, uh, we are playing 200, 400 with a 75 ante. So in this hand, the under the gun player limps. The next player makes it 1,000. The cutoff calls, and I looked down at 9-7 in diamonds on the button. I've been playing pretty snug here, so I think I'll get a decent amount of credit, and I don't want to just call with this hand. I think I'd rather 3-bet it. So I go ahead and 3-bet it, make it 3,300. Folds all the way back around to the cutoff, who makes the call. So heads up to a flop. Flop comes ace, jack, six, two spades, and one diamond. He checks it over to me, and I bet 3,000. He goes ahead and it makes the fold. So we take that one down. Shortly after that, in the same level, the under the gun player limps in and I look down at ace jack off suit. I raise it up to $1,100, or chips, I guess. 1,100 chips. The big line and the limper, they call. So three ways to a flop this time of jack four three with two hearts. They check it over to me and I bet 2,100. Only the big line calls. So heads up to a turn of the king of hearts. Third heart up there. We do have the ace of hearts. So. 
He checks it. I just decided to check it back. The river comes a brick, offsuit eight. He checks it over to me and with this player in particular, I'm gonna try and go for some small value. I think he would call pretty wide on the flop. Any pair he would call with. I think his range is wide enough here to uh, go for some thin value. So I put out a bet, a small bet of 1300. He calls right away and uh, I flip it over and it's good. He later tells me that he has Queen Jack with the Queen of Hearts. So good run out and uh, I think I like my bet sizing in that hand. In this next hand, the blinds have gone up to 250, 500 with a 75 ante. The under the gun plus one player opens for 1500. Player in his left calls. Folds around to me in the small blind. I look down at king queen off suit. I'd rather not just flat call with this hand. I'd rather put in a three bet or fold potentially, but versus these players in particular, I think they're playing a pretty wide range. So I decide to go for the three bet. I make it 5,500. Both players end up calling. So three ways to a flop of jack nine six rainbow. I think it's pretty close between uh, going for a C bet or some other line. I think a lot of different lines actually have merit here. So the line that I chose was a C bet and I bet 6,500. The first player calls and then the second player puts in a raise, he makes it 20,000. I only have about 22,000 behind at this point, so it's effectively a jam. I don't think I have too much choice here other than to fold. The player behind me tank folds pocket tens. So I'm not too sure about my line there and I'm not too sure about the sizing either. Happy with the sizing in the previous hand. Not exactly thrilled with the, uh, the sizing in this hand, although it could be results oriented, I'm not exactly sure. I think there's merit to uh, a check raise, a big check raise, because we always have the gutter to the nuts and two overcards to, to go along with that. Seems like a decent amount of equity to go along with some fold equity in a check raise line. So, I don't know, some merit to some other lines in that, uh, in that hand for sure. Last interesting hand, same level, 250, 500, 75 ante. The hijack opens for 1500. I make it 3500 just to his left in the cutoff with, again, king queen off suit. Folds back to him and he makes the call. So heads up to a flop of eight, six, deuce, rainbow. He checks, I bet 3300 and he folds. So much better result this time with a king queen off suit than the previous one. A uh, little bit of a net loss there. So definitely an active level. Got involved in some more pots this time. Getting some, getting some more playable hands in those uh, those few levels. Play is not exactly moving that fast. Uh, there was one hand where players called the clock on one player in the same hand uh, on multiple streets. A little bit of uh, tanking going on here and there, but decent action. Certainly some uh, some action going on at the table. So just got to make some hands here. I'm gonna try and keep the bluffing to a minimum, but it's all situational. So I'm gonna head back in there. Hopefully come back to this beach with more hands to discuss at the next break. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. I did my first ever interview with Poker News uh, just after the, the the first batch of levels in there. That was uh, slightly awkward, but uh, but fun. I, kind of, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know exactly how awkward it'll come off, but I wouldn't mind having a redo. But you gotta start somewhere. We'll see. If I, once I find the link, I'll put it down below so you guys can check that out too. Alright guys, we made it to the dinner break. We have about 40,000 uh, in chips. 40,600 I think to be exact. The blinds were just 500 and 1,000. Uh, not sure what they go to, maybe 600, 1,200. Seems likely, seems reasonable. So, doing okay. Uh, we had 40 big blinds there. Um, got a little bit slow for me at the end, but uh, one pretty interesting hand to uh, discuss real quick before I go grab some food. So at this point we're still playing 300, 600, 100. There's a middle position open to 1500. I looked down an ace king off suit and I put in a three bet to 3500. The big line cold calls and the middle position player thinks for a little while and then he calls as well. So three ways to a flop. Buckner's king, queen, four with two spades. Action checks to me. I put out a bet of 4,200 and both players make the call. So pretty decent sized pot developing here. Trying to dodge a uh, non-spade, preferably a low non-spade. The turn is a non-spade and turn is an ace. Offsuit ace. So we make top two pair. Jack 10 gets there, but we don't really have that much left compared to the size of the pot. 
we only have about 9,000 left at this point. So our options are gonna be a little bit limited here. And the action does check to us. So with that stack size and with the board as it is, the top two pair, if someone happens to have jack 10, we're just gonna have to get snapped off with a little bit of equity left. But can't risk letting a uh, spade come off on the river. So 9,000 is going in, I jam. Both players snap call. A little bit worrisome at first. The player on my right, the, the original Razor, turns over Ace, Queen of Hearts. The player on my left turns over 9-6 of spades. Uh, the player on my left actually called for less. So I think he maybe only had about 4,000, something like that. Not very much left. The player on my right covers. So we just need to dodge a uh, spade or, or an unlikely queen. River is a spade, but it is the ace of spades. So we make the nuts on the river. A little bit of a roller coaster of emotion for the guy. The guy with the flush draw, I thought he won at first, but no such luck. Uh, so we take down a pretty decent sized pot there with aces full of kings. Pretty happy with the developments of that hand. And now we're on dinner break. Uh, I lost a few hands there towards the end. Um, so back down to 40,000 as mentioned. Just a uh, time to go find some food. Gonna chill for a while, break for one hour. Broke tables, by the way. We have redrawn, and I'm at a new table where I don't recognize anybody except for Kate Hall, who is on my direct right now. So we have swapped seats, but aside from that, don't recognize anybody. Off to find some food. Don't know if I have time to find some paella and can't really indulge in any cervezas at the moment, unfortunately, but back to it after that. All right guys, bad news. Outside drinking a beer can only mean one thing. Busto. The dream is dead for now. For this tournament at least. Barcelona main event is a, is a done deal for me. Uh, we're playing 600, 1200 with a 200 ante. I look down at Ace King and make it 3000 to go from early position. There's two calls. Kid in the nine seats uh, who is on the button, I think. Cut off her button. Jams all in. Uh, turns out he has about 25 or 26,000 in chips. A little over 20 big blinds, I think. And I don't think I have too much choice here. Just gonna have to go with Ace King. I ship it in there. Uh, the other two players fold. Turns out he has pocket eights and says that he cannot lose. Seeing as how this is an 888 event, pocket eights has to be good. Indeed it is. Runs out clean for him. Uh, no love. Can't can improve with ace king so i'm left with about i think i'm left with about 10,000 in chips at that point whittled it down uh blinds went up shortly after that to 8 1600 with a 200 ante just look at a bunch of rags for a good i don't know 15 minutes or so find jack eight of hearts with five big blinds left uh from early middle position stick it in there run into ace queen and once again cannot improve so that's that that's all she wrote for the uh, the main event for myself. Busto. No love. Pretty good event. Uh, the structure was pretty good. I thought the, the structure was really good. Nice and slow. And uh, there was really good action in the games at the tables. Uh, all sorts of rags getting uh, decent action. Getting calls pre-flop. So certainly some value here in these, uh, these tournaments. I think perhaps a little bit more value in these tournaments than there are in the cash games here. Um, at this particular venue, but not that big of a sample. Um, I have asked around a little bit and it seems like other people are having the same sort of experience, but that's that. Just enjoying one of Spain's finest loggers at the moment. So it's like 20 to one right now. It's a very close call between going out, finding somewhere fun, finding a nice cocktail bar or Calling it a night, going back to the room, finish up some editing on the first video, which I haven't done yet. Uh, I started it, but I'm probably about halfway through, so try and uh, make some really serious progress with that first video and then find some fun tomorrow, get a fresh start 
head out tomorrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do since uh, a little bit lacking on the rest department at the moment. Not that that's that big of a deal, but gotta grind, gotta stay on the grind, gotta grind out the videos. So it's gonna do it for me. We made dinner break. I don't know if that's an accomplishment. I don't think it is. Oh,